Stop and Shop. Something I never thought I would say, but yes, coupon news out of Stop and Shop. Got to get those coops, baby. Yes, that's right, Chris. Stop and Shop has begun testing new in-store kiosks aimed at consumers who are, quote, digital hesitant, end quote. That's a uh, great quote, digital hesitant, and We got to stop and talk about that. Digital hesitant. Okay, yeah, very- uh, I, I'm wondering what other blank hesitant things you can be like i i think that could be an entire podcast on its own we, but we could do a podcast on that yes like what yeah weather hesitant i don't know like what's hesitant. coming to mind like <laughs> experimentation hesitant i don't right. know there's a lot of things that go in there but digital <laughs> hesitant is this is what the spokesperson for uh the stop and shop chain told supermarket news uh according to supermarket news the new kiosk dubs saving stations quote, provide a convenient way for consumers, particularly non-digital shoppers, to activate and load their digital coupons on their card while shopping in-store, end quote. Customers can either scan their loyalty card or enter their phone number at the kiosk and the digital coupons from the circular will be instantly activated to the shopper's Go Rewards loyalty account, the retailer said. Savings are then applied at checkout when the customer scans that same loyalty card or enters their phone number. Chris. Yes. Are you are you coupon kiosk hesitant or are you happy <laughs> about this news? This has me thinking about college all of a sudden for some reason, you know, like <laughs> that's what that's what that's what that phrase just made me think about and fill in the blanks for that. Yeah. Friends, friends of Bobby talk. Oh man, and where do I start on this one? But I think this is a fun one to start with today. It's a good one to start the show. You know, we could have led with those epic at Walmart, but we saved that for later. Um, but we decided to lead with this one. So Okay, so first of all, the jaded person in me would say, okay, if you're going to make your customer swipe their card at a kiosk and then preload all the digital coupons for that week, why don't you just do that anyway? You know, yeah. like, why, why don't you just make that a part of your thing anyway? Because that that's really customer friendly if you do that. Now, there's a whole host of reasons why you wouldn't want to do that, right? But the other point about this that I think that's really interesting is, you also just have to acclimate your customers, your digitally hesitant, your digital hesitant customers to the fact that online coupons actually exist, right? Yes. Like I think, and because that's the starting point here is that there are people who don't know that, and that's pretty much alluded to very like overtly in the article. There are people who don't know that digital coupons are a thing. Right. So the kiosk is the starting point. It's the marketing vehicle. It's the physical substrate in the store to keep people into the fact that they're out there and you can stop by it and swipe your card and get them preloaded. And so for that reason, it makes sense. Like, you know, and the brands are probably paying for it too, I imagine. So, you know, I, I think for those reasons, it, it makes sense to do. And I would say, yeah, get till the cows come home, which is something right. I never thought I would say in this, in this regard. But what do you think? I mean, do you love this too? Or are you, Oh, are, are you more? Sure. For kiosk sure. Hesitant, I think man. this is no, I am key, I am pro kiosk. I am kiosk positive. I think that's what I want. Yeah, what's I think the opposite what of I hesitant? Say. I gotta look that up. <laughs> but no, so I was just listening to this comedy special this weekend, and it was so funny because they were talking about like work from home and everything, and they're talking about yeah. the number one thing that people miss about not going into the office anymore is the printer. And I think that that's so it's hit so spot on. But it's like, yeah, this is great because not only can you print out coupons from this thing, but you can print out like other th- offers and other things. Like this is, I think, just a great resource for people that are still very analog. I think brands will see lift in purchases because while you're scrolling through and you're picking out your coupons, like there might be something that you find in the coupon list that you didn't think you were going to buy before, but now you're got me right there. You're giving me a coupon. You're in the moment of intent. I think this is, everybody's going to see a lift from this happening. Um, And we talked about uh, this with somebody from Nax last week too, Chris. I don't know if you remember, but we're talking about the idea just from the brand perspective again, like why does your Cheerios coupon only work at one place? Like why can't you get your Cheerios coupon loaded onto your phone so that you can use that at any retailer that you want? And so I think that, you know, this could even be another opportunity for brands to say like, Hey, if you, you know, if you're just interested in getting this offer, like maybe this is a place where you can print it. Maybe it's another resource. If you don't spend it that day, like you still have that connection with that brand and still have the opportunity. So I 
I love this. I think it's you a great love idea. It. That, mm -hmm. that would be, that would definitely be consumer friendly if they were able to go that way. So yes. And I looked it up too. the, the, the correct antonym for hesitant would be uh confident or decisive. So you are, you kiosk are confident, kiosk confident or kiosk oh. decisive or digital confident and digital decisive. I feel like that's both. a deodorant commercial. Like I'm I, kiosk I, confident. There, there is so many miles <laughs> with which we could go down this road of, of this, of this joke and riff on it, but let's keep going for the that's sake a good of idea. our 